Good day to you peoples of the internet. Tiger J15 here, not wearing a funny hat this time, but wearing a Sterling Archer for Danger Zone President 2017 shirt. Politics. Our video today revolves around content, specifically my content. And I want to be perfectly honest with you. Look, I am not able to make content every week. Of course, that revolves around what content I'm making, but example, Italia Bridged. I'm not able to make an Italia Bridged episode every week because the work that goes into some series is more than what goes into others. Five Minute Reviews is just editing. That's it. It's editing software... Not software. It's editing voices and backgrounds and pictures. Italia Bridged, writing, voice acting, gathering up the other voice actors, editing, lip syncing, many other things that go into it, but those are the basics. So, yeah, there is also another reason why I'm doing this video. I believe that there are several channels out there that do amazing and generally awesome work. There are you awesome YouTubers that are capable of doing mind-blowing things. So, in order to sort of kill two birds with one stone, one being entertaining you beautiful, brilliant people whilst I can't upload any content whilst working on long series like Italia Bridge, and bolstering numbers to channels that I believe you might enjoy because I enjoy them and I believe that they're awesome and generally helping them out with their YouTube. So I've compiled a list of awesome YouTubers whose content I think you might enjoy because I do. This is my list of recommended YouTube channels. Now, there is one more thing I have to say before I continue with this list. These are channels that are under 100,000 subscribers. So, don't expect any big 100,000 plus YouTubers on this list, okay? Fantastic. Okay, let's get on with the list. Brilliant. Just so we're on the same page, this list is compiled of YouTubers from a wide variety of different genres. Animation, music, parody, skits, video games, so on and so forth. I cast a very wide net into the blue ocean of YouTube and came out with a lot of generally good content. So let's get started on that list, shall we? So tell me, dear peoples of the internet, have you ever played Star Fox? Or generally any Star Fox game? You have? Oh, fantastic. Have you ever wanted an animation series based on around that fact? You have? Oh, well, that's brilliant. Because then that means a fox in space is for you. A fox in space is an animation series on the internet based around the adventures of Fox McCloud and his other friends of Star Fox as they go about the lilac system on their many adventures. It has a wonderful animation style and audio quality that kind of reminds me of a 1980s cartoon for some reason. Kind of like Moonlight City. It's kind of like an ongoing television series. The current plot revolves around Fox McCloud as he's been captured by Star Wolf and is on his way to be taken to Andros. I am sure many adventures and hilarity will also ensue. If you've ever wanted an animated Star Fox series, then I bet a fox in space is for you. Speaking of Star Fox, how about we keep this Nintendo train rolling as we move on to our next recommended YouTuber, eh? Alright then. Brawlfan1 is a YouTuber and sprite animator that animates the Super Smash Adventures, starring a talking piranha plant that gets involved with Princess Peach, and hilarity and adventures ensue, involving many, many Nintendo characters from Star Fox, Super Mario Bros., Donkey Kong, Metal Gear Solid, which is Konami, 
Metroid, F-Zero, the Kirby series, and many other franchises in Nintendo's lineup. Now, if you've ever wanted to see a series of a giant roster of good guys just going up against a giant roster of bad guys, this is probably the series for you. The sprite animation is tight, the story is very compelling, the character arcs are brilliant, and the way that each character deals with the situation assigned to them is very interesting. Personally, my favorite character in the series is Snake, because favorite video franchise ever. Yeah. So if this sounds like a series that interests you, then be sure to give it a go. You might find it's what you've been looking for. Moving right along in the animation genre, we come to the Cartoon drive through Not THE Cartoon drive through but it's called Cartoon drive through where we find a collection of very interesting and humorous cartoons all made by and voiced by the same person. The Cartoon drive through keeps many wondrous and very humorous series going all at once, whilst also having its own Bandcamp page. The three main shows that they seem to tout at the moment are Sweet and Sour, a series about two rival sweet shop owners going head to head, Deadly Space Action, an indestructible, intrepid, idiotic space captain with high hopes of conquering the six hexagons of the universe, going on adventures with a merry band of weird shipmates that are either forced into their positions or have no other alternative. And finally, my personal favourite, The Puzzle Hunters, a series about three friends that generally try to solve mysteries, a la Scooby-Doo, but are really bloody terrible at it. So if you feel like any of these cartoons that I've described are for you, then drive right in to the Cartoon drive through where the cartoons are always waiting for you. Now, if we can, let's move away from animation for a moment, and move into the area of A. Now, obviously, ASMR isn't for everyone, and I completely understand that. However, if you're in the market for an ASM artist who's not only good at his job, but is also damn well funny, then Danny Docile is the bloke for you. With such ASMRs, such as calling demons forth, hypnotizing you so you stop smoking, and generally trying to sell you everything but the kitchen sink. Comedy and ASMR. Two things that probably most people didn't think would be a good combination, but one man had the balls to try and do it anyway. And he succeeded. Now let's continue with this skit train, shall we? Right along to a very fantastic group of individuals, also known as Doormonster previously known as White Lightning, some of whom skits or animation you may have seen dotted around the internet. These chaps and chapettes are wonderful at well-written comedy as well as timing and originality. They usually mess around with existing franchises such as Skyrim, Don't Starve or Civilization. Most of the time, however, they're able to come up with their own very original, brilliant sketches. So if you're in the mood for a channel that does a variety of original content as well as jokes based off already existing franchises and sometimes the odd animation, then be sure to give them a look out. Trust me, you can't miss them. There's like 10 or 13 of them. Plus they have a door monster. No, that title's not a joke. They actually have a door monster. Right there. See, there it is. I'm not lying. Door monster. They make funny. Look, I was gonna do an intro and try to sell this YouTube channel to you. The YouTube channel is called D-Tunes. And I was going to come out and say, oh, they do their own animated review series involving a 1920s-esque cartoon character known as Doggy D. Duxend and sometimes a 20-something-year-old cat named Conroy Cat as they do reviews on modern and classic cartoons of the era. However, I feel that just showing you this is more than appropriate enough. Enjoy. My plan is simple. I go in, kick butt, we win. <sighs> we need more of a plan than that, Ben. And how is that not a plan? We're outnumbered. They know how to fight us. And you're a glory hog, dude. 
That was awesome, wasn't it? But what is animation if it doesn't have music in it? Music to convey emotion, music to convey the scenery, music to convey the situation. Well, I have someone that is fantastic at doing music. In fact, you could say it's her profession. No, actually, it really is her profession. LC Lovelock is a YouTuber and vocalist that does covers. That is all she does, but she does it magnificently. If you've ever wanted a female version of the Disney classic Hellfire, this is your woman, trust me. She is fantastic in both her range and her diction, not only getting across the emotion, but the message of the original songs staying true to how they originally were. Ah, uh, but how about that comedy, eh? Nothing can beat comedy, except maybe a couple twins share flat in a YouTube channel. Yeah, maybe twins like that could have a comedic YouTube channel along those lines. Well, it appears that we're all in luck, because allow me to introduce the Fratocrats, a YouTube channel run by Mike and Jacob Truman, twins, who enjoy nothing more than making you split your sides. Or perhaps maybe their skits aren't for you, and if that is the case, then you might enjoy their series Twin Joke, which is a variety show of sorts involving many different things, such as the box of infinite unsettling possibilities or blindfolded hide and seek. There are many, many good things to enjoy, especially since they're twins. Now, as you'll know, one of the reasons I primarily made this list was because editing and making a series such as Italia Bridged took too long in terms of, well, all the processes required. However, the YouTuber known as Corabel seems to have no problem making MMD versions of everyone's favourite Italia characters. They use Miku Miku Dance, a program primarily used to make, well, Vocaloid singers dance to music, and uses it to animate music videos, generally make humorous content, and put the Axis and allies into awkward and hilarious situations, such as everyone in the room wanting to sleep with America. No, I'm not joking. This is one animator whose work I thoroughly enjoy, and if ever given the chance, I would love for them to animate some of the Italia Bridge stuff. That would be awesome. Give me a call. Don't second for email me. Calling would be weird. But, perhaps so far you're not in the market for any of this stuff. You generally just want to see someone play through games. Yeah, you want to see someone play games? Alright then, I've got the exact bloke for you. His name is Patriot Tales, and yes, he is a dear friend of mine who has been in some of my videos. Patriot Tales is able to upload a video almost daily, sometimes depending on his situation, but he's done several large, long playthroughs, such as Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. Did you know they made a game of that? I did, I owned it on the Game Boy Advance. Really good game. Kind of. Sometimes. Some of the levels were a bit crap. But still. Though if you're just looking for a single Let's Player, someone that does full playthroughs of games from beginning to end, my buddy Pat's got you covered. But, uh, what if you're in the mood for something else, eh? Like that, uh, whole ASMR stuff. Well, that's not a problem. If Danny isn't your type of thing, I believe I have the bloke just for you. His name is Phoenician Sailor, and he is written in legends around the globe. He does themed Let's Plays involving series and franchises such as Life is Strange, The Last of Us, and a very recent and brilliant one, Old Man Logan. Now, I do want to warn you that some of his videos are quite long, normally ranging over an hour long. However, I think you'll find that his docile tones and the way that he's able to trigger you will be able to put you to sleep before you even get to the 15 minute mark. So hey, do you like parodies? Do you love Resident Evil? Well, if that's the case, I have just the people for you. Quanchi Productions, or Coyote Cody 5, are the brilliant people behind Resident Evil Quanchi. 
Yes, I know that sounds like a ridiculous thing, but it works because A, it is brilliantly crafted, well animated, and generally hysterical. Seriously. Some parody series might not be able to get a reaction out of it, but I reckon after seeing Resident Evil 1 she 1 through 6, you might have differing opinions about that. I'm just saying. But if, of course, a Resident Evil series isn't your forte, fair enough, fair enough. They have you covered with Quanchi Burger, a series about a bunch of troublemakers who are inexplicably working at basically McDonald's, is the best way to describe it, and they are all terrible at their job. Oh, and they can't get fired either. That, that's another important factor. They can't get fired. So, if you want to see a douchebag American, an idiotic Australian, some guy that's way too into his gaming, an idiotic American, and a Japanese cook that's into girls with long legs, that might be right up your street. But of course, that might not be anything you're interested in, and I completely understand. Which is why on this list I have five more other animators just for you. For several reasons. The biggest reason, of course, being is because I don't think they get enough respect, admiration, views, and, well, animation isn't exactly a good thing to make money off of on YouTube, unfortunately. Animators kind of got screwed with that one. So let me start off with Rikonami, a person that generally remakes video game intros. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Here you go. Have a look. That was awesome, wasn't it? I don't even have to say anything else. You probably sold on it already. Yeah, it's that good. However, if you feel as though watching remade intros for classic video games isn't your cup of tea, then by all means, well, how about Singing it? Mute, a YouTuber that does a series known yeah. as Half, which there? is about three university time. students who all live in the that same the place, the and basically chaos yeah, and hilarity ensues. I'm not making this up, ah, one of the characters' sisters the gets married to death. Gotta make this stuff up even doing? if I tried. I didn't realize that you took this class. But what about sprite animation, I hear you ask? And even if you didn't ask, I wasn't referring to you, I was referring to the people that did ask, and even if you didn't ask, you might be interested to listen anyway. Well, how about an original series? A series that brings several ideas in a franchise. I am referring to, of course, Super Smash Bros. Brawl Fangirl 1, who is known for creating PSI Universe, a series which brings together all three mother games in the franchise into one giant collective series. And it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I actually voiced for the series, in which case you should go watch it anyway, because I'm in there. But more it has to do with the writing, the animation, and the general simplicity of it not being fully voiced. Yeah, it's not fully voiced, it's only just slight bits of voice work here and there. So, if you're a fan of Earth Fan, or the Mother series, or Nintendo in general, or sprite animation, then this YouTube channel is definitely for you. But hey, what about reactions? Well, I don't tend to enjoy reaction channels. That's not for any particular reason, it's just a personal preference. However, allow me to introduce you to a dear friend of mine, Superscar102, who is known for several things, playing video games, speed art, and most notably, his reactions, such as this one. Yeah, 
So, if you find that his hilarious reactions are for you, then feel free to subscribe and enjoy his content. And be sure to tell him that I sent you. Because as I said, personal friend. I think he'll get a kick out of that. And finally, the penultimate person on this list. An animator that has a thing with hair, head hair, facial hair, or chest hair. Woolly World. And no, I'm not referring to Yoshi's Woolly World. Though there was a very interesting video about so that. <laughs> it was funny. But uh, no, Woolly World the Animator. Who was able to make very interesting and original content about existing franchises such as The Last Airbender, or in this case, The Last Hairbender, or Daisy, that type of stuff, or original content of his own involving him and a very interesting trip to London, which I'm pretty sure that's not how it went, or Ireland, in which apparently being mentioning that you're part Irish is liable to get you thrown out of a pub. But still, if you're up for a very funny and slightly sexual YouTuber, then Woolies for you. And our final YouTuber on this awesome recommended list is Mega Mouth Musicals. The brains, the brilliance, the beauty behind Italia Bridged. Yes, that's me. That's I'm I'm referring to myself. I'm Mega Mouth Musicals. I create Italia, Italia Bridged. You already know this, you've, you've seen the... Oh, by the way, this episode of Italia Bridge is up on the channel right now, so... Yeah, I'm recommending it simply because it's got Italia Bridged and nothing else. You like Italia Bridge? Go subscribe to it. There you go. Simple as. So, that's the entirety of the list. Uh, if any of what I've shown or talked about seems applicable or interesting to you, then be sure to check out their content, like, subscribe, do whatever you feel is necessary. So, with that out the way, if it's all the same to you, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, get on with, uh, Italia Bridge Episode 3, because I have been not putting that off but life has kind of been getting in the way of me doing that so yeah gonna do that now anyway hopefully you enjoy i hope you enjoy and i hope they enjoy having you so cheerio for now you beautiful peoples of the internet take a j15 out Gotta make sure to implement Mario in the next episode. Yeah. It's a joke involving Italy. Probably don't have to tell you that. He is a American Italian plumber after. Why am I telling you this? You'll see it when you watch the episode. Goodbye. Cheerio.